Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dom, and today we're taking a look at Apple's sixth generation iPod Touch for 2015 with a features comparison to its predecessor. It's been a while since the iPod Touch has been refreshed, and even though it's a minor one this time around, it brings along some very important changes. The packaging is exactly the same, and you won't find much inside, but getting into the box, we have the sixth generation iPod Touch front and center. Lifting the paper flap beneath will reveal the included accessories as well. As expected, we have a quick start guide and two Apple stickers, a USB to lightning cable, and Apple's ear pods. As you can probably tell, the design has remained exactly the same this time around, but Apple has added a few new color variations to the mix. You can pick up the iPod Touch in silver, gold, space gray, pink, blue, and product red. And I'll leave a link below if you want to check them out for yourself. But there might be a giveaway for two of these little guys linked in the description of this video. So check that out. This iPod Touch shipped with iOS 8.4 and comes along with Apple Music as well. Most of Apple's updates to this iPod happened on the inside, but there are a couple of external changes to mention. First off, if you were hoping for a larger display, that didn't happen. We still have the same 4-inch display here with a resolution of 1136 by 640. But on the back side, Apple has updated the camera quality quite a bit. We now have an 8 megapixel camera that's in line with the one we saw on the iPhone 5S and can shoot up to 120 frames per second slow-mo video at 720p. The last generation shipped with a 5 megapixel rear shooter, so this is definitely a welcomed upgrade. Another change here may be seen as a downgrade to some, but Apple has ditched its loop accessory and the metal connector that used to pop up on the lower backside of the 5th generation iPod Touch. Internally, Apple has included the A8 processor and M8 motion coprocessor to power the iPod Touch. Well, what does this mean for you? performance and a ton of it. This iPod is now on point with the iPhone 6 as far as performance goes and it kicks the crap out of the 5th generation iPod Touch when you compare the benchmark scores. There's just no contest. The software experience is buttery smooth thanks to the 1GB of RAM inside and battery life should be roughly the same as the last generation but that's still pretty good. Unfortunately, Apple has decided not to include NFC and the Touch ID home button for Apple Pay and unlocking the device. But aside from in-app purchases at home, Apple Pay would be near impossible to use without a constant network connection. The iPod Touch comes in 16, 32, 64, and even 128 gigabyte storage configurations, but who is it for and which one should you buy? Well, if you have an iPhone, it's not really worth owning, but for anyone else, it's a great way to get familiar with the iOS ecosystem. This also makes a perfect portable gaming device, and it's great for movies, music, and browsing the web, and really any other media-related task. It's not perfect, but finally, the iPod Touch is on the same performance level as Apple's other iOS devices, and I think a lot of people can appreciate that. Before I get out of here today, I want to tell you about this episode's sponsor, Pro Opinion. This site is basically a toolkit of research-driven content that you are free to use and share. It provides users with access to an infographic database, business facts, market research, and you can even make some cash by participating in research studies. Click the link in the description to find out more.